Hi, this is Simon Hill for Digital Trends and we are looking at some quick tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Now the first thing we want to do is make sure that you're actually taking advantage of some of the Edge features. So if you swipe and pull the tab over, you'll, you'll open up the different Edge panels and they're very easy to edit. You can just tap on plus if you wanted to add a different app into the Apps Edge here. Tap on plus again for adding a task and you can add extra people to your people edge. Um, now if you want to decide which panels actually appear in the first place, we're going to go into settings and find the settings menu that's devoted to the edge screen. And if you go in here and tap on edge panels, you can pick exactly which ones you want to appear. There's quite a few by default and you can also download more and you can change the order in here if you want. Another important option, as you can see I've already changed the default positions to top right, I've changed where my panel handle is. Just go in here and you can basically drag up and down, put it where you want it. You can make it bigger or smaller and you can change the transparency. Um, as you can see back in the main edge screen menu, you can also pick the feeds that you want which display on the side and the timeout for how long they should be displayed and once again there are more to download uh, and you can set your edge lighting uh, if you want the edge to light up when you receive a call or a notification comes in uh, which is really handy if you put your phone face down quite a lot of the time and now we're going to look at some tips and tricks that will work for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S7 Edge now one of the first places I'd advise you to go and um, you're looking to unlock some handy features in Samsung Touch Wiz is uh, to go into the settings and look for a menu called advanced features and there are lots of goodies in here so games at the top uh, if you turn game tools on this allows you to easily take screenshots record videos while you're gaming but you can also make sure that alerts don't come in and interrupt the game and you can even lock the capacitive buttons at the bottom here or the back in the recent app so that you don't accidentally touch them uh, another great feature in here is the identify unsaved numbers that can help you avoid incoming spam if you turn that on uh, one handed operation is great if you, especially if you have smaller hands um, you can reduce the screen size and you can also get the keyboard and stuff to appear over on one side whichever side you prefer and it just makes it a little bit easier to type with your thumb the quick launch camera feature is a great one um, this enables you to just double tap the home key so a double tap like that and the camera launches uh, it makes it easier to grab a shot quickly now there are actually quite a few other features in here that are worth considering Palm swipe to capture is just for screenshots. The pop-up view gesture is for a handful of supported apps and it enables you to swipe down from the top corner and you can kind of minimize the app so that it sits in a window. Uh, direct call is another good one. Um, if you're on a contact page, you can just raise the phone to your ear and it'll automatically call them. Another tip that's quite handy, uh, particularly if you find that you're getting spammed with lots of notification messages, is consider turning some of them off. Um, head into the settings menu here and you're looking for the notifications option. Tap on that and it'll populate with a list of the apps that you have and you can decide to toggle off the ones that you don't want to receive messages from. It's a good idea to just leave the essentials on in there and then you'll get far fewer messages. Now there's another great set of options that Samsung has for the S7 and S7 Edge and it kind of hides them away a little bit. In the sounds and vibrations menu you've got your standard options there but if you scroll right down to the bottom you'll find sound quality and effects tap on this and you have a basic equalizer if you tap on advanced you can get a bit more fine grained control if you scroll down you'll find there are a list of different effects now some of these are greyed out because you need to have your earphones plugged in for them to work and you're also going to need your earphones if you want to personalize the sound on your phone tap on adapt sound with your earphones plugged in and this is a bit like a hearing test, it'll play beeps in the left and right channels and you tell it whether you can hear them or not and it'll personalise the sound for your ears. Now, a couple more things relating to apps before we go. If we pull down the notification shade and tap settings again, uh, in the applications menu you can actually change the default applications on your S7 Edge. 
Uh, say you don't like Samsung's browser for any reason, you could switch to Chrome in there. Uh, you can also change the different messaging apps, calling apps, and you can even change the whole look of your phone with a new launcher um, instead of TouchWiz. Obviously you'll need to install them first for them to appear as options. One final thing relating to apps again, uh, if you're concerned about the permissions that different apps have, maybe you just want to review that or you might want to change the permissions that some of them have, go into settings and find privacy and safety. Tap on that and you'll see the app permissions is there. And you can tap on app permissions and you can see by permission type how many apps have that permission. And if you tap to go in, you get a simple toggle so you can actually revoke permissions you might have granted or, or re-grant them if you want to. Uh, keep your security a bit tighter. Uh, that's all the tips uh, for the S7 Edge that we have for now, but if you're still hungry for more, head over to digitaltrends.com.